Well, it took longer to get to it than I would have liked, but hello everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Bayonetta 3. Let's go. Bayonetta. Also, just making sure I'm not missing anything here. I'm going in completely blind. Um, oh, yeah, wait. All right, yes, naive angel mode off. Thank you. We are playing Bayonetta the way God intended. All righty, let's go. Uh, I mean, I'm not going on casual. No, no, no. I ain't doing expert either. We'll do standard. <laughs> They're asking you about that here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Naive Angel will turn this function on to change some of the in-game depictions. Violence, gore, and exposure will be reduced. Wow, so instead of smoking a cigar, he has a pretzel? Yeah, we, we, we are not activating that. No. Brightness is fine. Okay. Oh, I had to press something. I thought it was auto-saving. <laughs> but yeah, unlike Bayonetta 1 and 2, this will be completely blind. So me kid, showcasing... My father uh, used well, to tell me more something. on that in a bit. There are no forks in the road of life. You just walk along, feeling your way through the grass and leaving a faint path behind. But if you turn around to look, you may get the strange feeling you've walked that path before. Or that someone was walking along with you, lending you the strength to press on. Universes of light, dark and chaos, uh, intertwining untold layers. I'd always believed there was only one truth, but... What if some other version of me, on a distant world, was searching for all possibilities? And what if, when all the possibilities were overlaid, the path that stood out the clearest was the real truth? understood what he was saying, but for some reason, it really resonated with me. And every time I thought about it, I looked up at the sky and daydreamed. What if somewhere, some version of me was walking along through the grass just like me? Could we be following the same path, taking the same journey? That idea had its hooks in me more powerfully than any anime or sci-fi novel. And even after growing up, I still believed it could be true. 
I just knew that someday, a version of my father from some other world would appear. And pull out a strawberry cap just for me. Always used to. But the visitor from another world appeared to me. It was a nightmare that had come to crush all hope like blades of grass beneath his heel. <sighs> Trying to regain my uh, bayonet of muscle memory. Already, I can tell I'm going to have some trouble switching back and forth between this and Star Wars. Oh no. Genuinely, is that the first time there's been blood in a Bayonetta game? That's unfortunate. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dog, if she couldn't do anything, what makes you think you? Jesus Christ! Bastard! Damn it! Ha <laughs> 
Well, that's one hell of an intro. So that was the prologue? No. Records of time, phenomenal affirmation. So this is where I'm going now? Okay. Um. Let me, let me just make sure. But yeah, um, as the, or what I the point I was trying to make earlier. Okay, yeah, the point I was trying to make earlier is that because I'm playing kid, this. Okay, yeah, all right, fair enough then. I'll need to witness all this. Can I go back to chapter select? Thank you. Um, but yeah, because I'm playing through this for the first time, blind, on camera, now, this initial playthrough of Bayonetta 3, yeah, I won't be doing what I did in the previous games and like go out of my way to show where every like, um, sort of witch trial thing is located, if those are even in this game. Genuinely, I am going into this completely blind. All I know is that they introduce a character named Viola. And a lot of diehard Bayonetta fans were a little upset at the ending. So, here's hoping it ain't all that bad of an ending. I don't know. We'll see. Sega. <laughs> nice. Please, someone help me before it's too late. Oh, yeah, and the fact that Bayonetta has a new VA because uh, the original, she was kind of an a-hole. Dawn. 
And now this damn thing's throwing a temper tantrum. The hell are you doing? I just got this baby yesterday. And... Less hot air, more gas. That is a wide ass car. Storms coming. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Hell about to break loose. Not again. Light from on high just means more holy bullshit. What the? Ah! Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, time Hello? travel. Where the hell did she come from? Hey, why am I sounding no, confused? Kind of like. <laughs> Yeah, I was up here like, they're going to have a time travel plot? Like, wait, that's kind of what the first and second game involved, too. <laughs> Animals! What the hell's wrong with you? 
Denzo, can't have you die before I get my dough. <laughs> Amazing. Although it looks like he's changed up his look too. I like that. Being that in Jean, uh, Jean, 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 they don't have to be the only ones. Get ye back, Leviathan. Definitely not a regular. I do hope you haven't forgotten my order. <laughs> Introducing Stratus, Light Humanoid Generic Module. You don't seem to be from heaven or hell. Time to fight. Oh, crap. Okay. Just. All right. I'll get my sea legs back under me. As I am, like, attacking no one in general. Okay. I'll get a dodge out. Oh, I'm still fighting. Okay. There we go. Genuinely, I am like focusing so hard right now. 
because I am still in a mindset of um, Jedi survivor <laughs> or fallen order. Just give me my order before I lose my cool. <laughs> Amazing. Not the pizzas! Introducing Flaccus, heavy humanoid combat unit. Am I fighting chaos from Sonic Adventure? Alright, that was sweet. Okay, ZR. Flutter, so we got Madama Butterfly mode, all right. Hold R. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So we got like new little combos going on here. Uh, or rather like inputs, like directional inputs. Usually like, what, what's the best? Way? Like, I'm, I'm thinking of this in terms of like fighting games, but like the sort of down up and then X to do that special. That's a, like that, there hasn't been inputs like that in Bayonetta before, right? I don't think so, huh. Anyway, Clouds of Erasure, giant harmonic, hum, harmon, homunculi. That is always a tough word for me to pronounce. Leave behind cloud-like mist in their wake that breaks down whatever it touches. <gasps> Even Bayonetta. I'll just shoot you to death. There we go.
I wasn't particularly ready. Ooh. A platinum on time, though, but all right, I'll take a silver. What's that? Introducing Cumulo Nimbus, heavy humanoid decisive unit? Did I misread that? Possibly. But Cumulo Nimbus, he's a cloud. Lock on. Do that. Hold R and then up X. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, Gamora's back. Let's go. I mean, obviously, that is her demon, after all. That thing ain't from Paradiso. No sanctified seasoning means no deal. Better think fast. Huh. Uh, storms are not worse than I thought. So because it's not from heaven, the contract prevents it from attacking? Huh, some ancient lost dark art. Summon and stopping hold ZL to summon and control infernal demons and release ZL to stop summoning. Summoning drains magic power and ends when magic runs out. Infernal demons can be summoned again once a set amount of magic power recovers. Move summoned infernal demons with left stick. Bayonet herself will be unable to move, so be wary of oncoming enemies. Okay. Press that while summoning to make infernal demons attack. Attacks vary by demon and button. Press ZR during Demon Slave to return the 
infernal demon instantly with some exceptions for certain statuses. Okay, I got it. Somewhat. And now I'm actively like controlling said demons. Instead of like it being in a cutscene, which time demon? Feel like I'm not doing this effectively. Waiting for my magic. That almost ended poorly. Boy almost died in the tutorial. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could have gone better. But I'm learning it's a new mechanic. We'll get used to it. hell are these? <laughs> oh, wait, and the humans can see them. Yeah, they're definitely not the, like, angelic or demonic things, then. Aliens?
John. We'll catch up later. Tag team. So the whole like water thing and now these tentacles. Beginning to have me think that Maybe this is like Cthulhu? Or like just the ancient ones? Yeah, this is a Kraken. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting into like uh, just these eldritch horror things then. Fair enough. Cthulhu is so gonna be a boss, isn't he? I'm so freaking ready. Not again. Yep. Despot of the Sullen Maw. Kraken. Oh, that's no good. Jesus Christ, this is the prologue. <laughs> like, finally decided to come up for air, did you? Now, who invited you to our little cruise? Okay. I'm just trying to be a little careful here. Oh, it's just a little bit left. Wow, okay. The attacks get buffered like crazy with the demon. Okay. Where were you going? Got him. Wrong button. That was way too late. I'll, I'll own up to that one. 
first one though was genuinely the wrong button. I was, I was like, ooh, I'm playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order again. Like, no, no. Dama Butterfly is showing off a lot of skin in this game. <laughs> Mistress of Atrocity. Madama Butterfly. Put respect on her name. Let's go. Yay, we saved her instantly instead of, like, making it a full game plot point. <laughs> We're getting better at this. Ooh, would you look at that. Yeah, yeah, if it wasn't for that damage. Get wrecked. Well, where wh you 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 couldn't have assisted earlier, my dude. Playing the good Samaritan, Rodan. How dreadfully noble. We gotta talk. Preferably. Some place a little quieter. Because, yeah, he can't interfere on things between Paradiso and, well, heaven and hell. But this is neither. So, yeah. He can help out. He should have been helping out. Just saying. <laughs> Boy, they, they ain't playing with, like, the damage. Uh, like... Um... Punishment seems like the wrong choice of words there. Well, they ain't playing with how it impacts your score. But, uh, yeah, that was one hell of an introduction. Oh. Oh, there's like little achievements for each chapter. Oh, that's neat. Finish the deck battle without touching clouds of erasure, avoid crack and zinc, taunt an enemy, use Gamora's gripping bite on the cumulonimbus. nimbus. Alrighty. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. Interested to see where the story goes from here. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Bayonetta 3. Goodbye.